Tuscaloosa Chevrolet Sports Update with WVUA's Gary Harris. Despite reports to the contrary, Alabama offensive coordinator Doug Nussmeyer did not interview for the head coaching position at the University of Southern Mississippi. The Crimson Tide's first-year assistant coach was reported by the Hattiesburg American on Thursday as being among a group expected to take part in a series of interviews at an undisclosed location. In fact, it is now being reported that Todd Munkin, the offensive coordinator at Oklahoma State, has been offered that job at USM. And good evening, everyone. Happy Monday. Western Kentucky has hired Bobby Petrino as their new head football coach. The 51-year-old replaces Willie Taggart, a Western Kentucky alum who left the school to become South Florida's coach. Petrino had a 34-17 record at Arkansas and was 75-26 overall in eight seasons as a head college coach. He was fired by Arkansas back in April, you'll remember, for a pattern of misleading behavior following a motorcycle accident. Petrino had an affair with former Razorback volleyball player Jessica Dorrell, who he later hired as a football assistant and gave her $20,000 in gifts. Petrino said initially he was the only person on the motorcycle, but later admitted to Dorrell's presence. Petrino has been looking to get back into coaching since his dismissal. His name was mentioned recently in more prominent positions like Auburn and Kentucky. Petrino, who used to coach at Louisville, said he feels like he's coming home. Uh, my wife Becky and I consider this coming home. We have children that are that are here in the state, and we've been here, and it's great to be able to come back to the to the state that that we love. Um, this was a family decision. When we looked at it and sat down and talked, we felt like this was something that was best for our family, a place where we wanted to be. And I'm extremely grateful for Todd Stewart and Dr. Ranzel giving us the opportunity and to come back and lead the program here. You know, what it comes down to is, is he made a big mistake, and he acknowledges that. And he's taken ownership of that, and he's paid a heavy price for it. But this is the United States of America, and we're a country of second chances. And I was confident after talking with him and talking to other people that he deserved a second chance, and we are more than happy to give it to him. And uh, Stewart went on to say there were more people at that press conference than came to see their team play this year. So they're going to get a lot of play out of Bobby Petrino. Auburn coach Gus Malzahn has hired Clemson defensive backs coach Charlie Harbison. Malzahn announced the hiring on Sunday. Harbison will work with defensive coordinator Ellis Johnson. He spent the past four seasons with Clemson and previously worked with Johnson during stints at Alabama and at Mississippi State. He replaced Johnson as Mississippi State's defensive coordinator in 2008. The Oakland Raiders have reinstated linebacker Orlando McClain from the suspended list. The former Alabama All-American had been suspended for two games on November 30th for conduct detrimental to the team after a practice run-in with head coach Dennis Allen. That's never something you want to be associated with, but uh, it happened to him. He is not required to return to the team until he meets with Allen, who was in Texas today for his father's funeral. The team says Allen will discuss McClain's role with him on the team after he returns from that funeral. Well, something you don't see every day happened today in the NFL. A first-place NFL team fired its offensive coordinator with just three games remaining in the season. Cam Cameron ran the Baltimore offense since the start of the 2008 season under head coach John Harbaugh. The Ravens have lost two straight games, but did score 28 points yesterday in an overtime loss to the Redskins. Jim Caldwell, who was hired as quarterback's coach before the season, will assume Cameron's duties as the OC and play caller. The Alabama men's basketball team is on a two-game losing streak as the players take final exams this week. Alabama lost at home to Dayton last Wednesday night, 81-76. That's Anthony Grant's alma mater. Before that, they had lost at Cincinnati on that uh, previous Saturday. Now, the Tide won't play again until this Saturday at Virginia Commonwealth. Head coach Anthony Grant says the focus this week is for the players taking their test. But for the coaches, it's an opportunity to reevaluate some things and get the team back on track. Well, this is an important time for our guys with finals coming up, you know, and, and obviously, uh, you know, that's priority number one for them right now. You know, we've, we've got a break here before we play. Uh, so, uh, you know, my, my, my focus as a coach is to, you know, evaluate uh, where we are individually and collectively as a team and uh, what, I, what I need to do uh, to, to give this team the best opportunity to be successful and, uh, you know, what we need to do as a team. We're back after this.